Hi friends, our next live session will be on the 2nd of February, which is the coming Sunday from 10 a.m. to 12 in the noon. And this live session is accessible to both our registered students and all of our followers and everyone who, to, who wants to access this on YouTube. And the topic this time is big data storage technologies, which are relevant in the context of machine learning and AI, right? Again, this is something that students who are in the earlier sections of our course can also comfortably understand. Uh, earlier, we have done a live session about how Spark and Hadoop, the big data technologies and compute platforms are relevant in the context of machine learning and AI. This time, because data is, is the oil, right? So if you don't have data, you don't have models. So we'll discuss multiple technologies, ideas, and concepts on, on multiple types of databases that are very prominently used in the context of machine learning and AI applications, right? So we'll look at document stores, we'll look at columnar stores, we'll look at even cloud-based uh, relational and non-relational databases, right? So NoSQL databases, regular traditional, uh, traditional relational databases. So we'll go over a bunch of related technologies and related tools that we have at our disposal to store our data uh, in a way that is easiest for us to retrieve and be used in our machine learning and AI models, right? So again, we'll also look at uh, different applications. For example, we'll also look at inverted indices, uh, which, which is a very, very popular concept and a very popular idea of storing data when you want to build a search engine, right? So I'll try to cover as many as possible in a two hour live session. Again, please note the time. It will start at 10 a.m. on the 2nd of February, which is the coming Sunday. It will be from 10 to 12. I'll try and give you a good overview of everything. Again, we may not be able to dive deep into each of these concepts, but I'll give you a good high level overview. And if time permits, we can also look at simple code snippets. Again, for most of these big data storage technologies, SQL that we have already covered extensively in our course is, is a very, very powerful, is a very, very common querying language. Of course, each of these might have slightly different ways of querying. SQL itself could be modified based on the database that we are using. And there could be other ways of accessing data. So I'll try to give you an overview and show you how SQL that we've already learned in the course could be used for querying the data, for retrieving data, for storing data, all of that stuff, right? I'll try and cover as many as possible. And if, if, if I cannot cover everything in one live session, we can do two live sessions on this topic, right? So, but I'll try to give you at least a high level overview of everything in the coming live session. So, this is accessible, accessible to everyone. I'll provide a YouTube live link in the description section of this video where you can, uh, where you can watch the whole live session itself and hope we have great participation from all of you. Again, uh, you can post your questions. I'll try to answer as many as possible in the live session. Whatever I cannot answer, feel free to shoot an email to us and we'll try and respond to as many queries as you have. Thank you.